Okay guys, so in this next step we're going to just set up the basic server so we have something to actually run our application. So the way that we do that is, or rather the way that I like to do that is that I create a server.js file in the root of my project. And all that's going to do is that it's going to require my application, which is found here in source application, and then I'm just going to do app.listen and then specify a port number. Now I've just hard -coded, coded this port number and it's just going to be 3000 basically. So we have a port to run our application right. And in our application it can't be any, any more simple. It's like the simplest thing in the world. We have an express server, we initialize our express server and then we have a single endpoint that is just going to be the root of the document. Now a convention that I like to follow when I use just npm is that I create this little script called start which allows me to just run npm start to start my server. And if we now go to localhost 3000 we can see here that indeed we are getting the foo package or rather we, we get the foo string sent to us. So that's going to be the skeleton for our server. So let's take a look at how to actually start working on setting up what we need in order to show something meaningful to the user in the next video.